Welcome everybody to another edition of the Toy Box. Let's pop this box open and take a look and see what we got inside. Here we go, here we go, box opening. Oh, bam. Look at that. We've got, from the new 2016 Ghostbusters line, the new movie, The Mayhem Ghost. Pretty cool. Uh, I was pretty excited to see this one on the store shelves. Um, thought out of the newer, the newer ghost figures, the light up ones, this one was probably one of the cooler looking ones. Um, of course, you can see the packaging, you got the Ghostbusters logo, Ghostbusters on the side. The slime in the background, you've got the little button here for the action feature, boom, which lights up there. Um, of course, you see the Mayhem, Mayhem ghost name. Flip around to the back, you can see what other figures are available. Uh, of course, you see the little mini, the Ecto mini figures. The Mayhem Ghost, you also have um, Rowan's Ghost and the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man Balloon Ghost. That's right, a balloon, not the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man himself, but he's actually a balloon. Um, Alright, so we're going to pop Mayhem out of the package, take a closer look at the figure itself, some of the detailing, the articulation, stuff like that. So stick around, we'll be right back in just two seconds. All right, so we got Mayhem out of the box. So we can take a closer look here at the figure itself. Um, as you can see, pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot to it. Um, it is made more of a uh, translucent translucent plastic, um, of course, which is great for the, the glow feature, uh, which you can see there. Um, we'll cut the lights off here in a little bit and then take a better look at that and see how well it is in the dark. Um, pretty awesome figure, actually. Like I said, it's probably one of the better looking ones from the line so far. Articulation on this actually is not that bad. Uh, very surprising. So the wings, as you can see there, it's got a little joint there, so the wings will move in and out. Um, of course, the head will move uh, a little bit. It's a little rough, though. Um, then you got the shoulder, which has which will move up and down. And then there's also a ball joint in there, too. Um, elbow, up and down. And then there's a ball joint on the elbow as well. And then the the wrist. There's a twist there at the wrist. And of course the legs. Up and down on the legs. That's pretty much it. But I really wasn't expecting a whole lot of articulation out of this. Um, mainly because of the, you know, a lot of times when you get figures that have action features, they kind of take away a little bit from the articulation. But um, let's cut the light off. Boom. And here we go. We're going to take a close look at this with a little less light. Find that button on there. There we go. So the glow feature is actually pretty cool, um, especially when it's a little darker, well, as you can see there. Um, not too bad, not too bad at all. Really digging this figure, and it's going to look pretty awesome on the shelf with the rest of my Ghostbusters figures. Um, really solid figure, like I said. Ten bucks for retail. Um, you can get a closer look here at the, the the face sculpt, which is actually pretty detailed for a ten dollar figure with a little light up feature. So, very cool figure, very reasonable price. Like I said, ten bucks. Lights up, it's got some pretty good articulation, especially in the arms. So you can get some um, pretty cool um, poses out of it. And especially the unexpected wing articulation is actually pretty cool too. Um, one of the better features on that. So like I said, great figure. Again, $10, you can find it all the pretty much any place that's selling the Ghostbusters figures. I highly recommend picking it up and adding to your collection. So, and that's, that's what I got for you this time. So enjoy. And take your toys out of the box, free them from the plastic prisons. They're meant to be played with, they're meant to be enjoyed. So, until next time, guys, I'm out.